The problem seemed to have arisen some years ago when Mr. Longsworth was dealing with some construction. I think it may have been the Myron Jones Stadium where he got funds to do certain works. And, um, and there's some suggestion that the Auditor General people, the people working for the Auditor General um, is making the allegation that in fact they have evidence showing that the f some of the funds at least are funneled into his personal bank account. I think that is really the, 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 the crux of the matter, that funds were f that were supposed to have been dedicated to the project were traced into his personal bank account. I have not read the Auditor General's report, but I have not heard it suggested that the works for which the funds were paid were not done. Uh, I had a discussion with, um, with Longsworth and he informed me that the works had been done. But for a reason of expediting the, the, the activity, the monies were funneled into his account. But is it not a conflict of interest, perhaps legal even, that a public official, in this particular case, a junior minister with sports as his portfolio, would set up a company that would then provide private works for the construction of the Marion Jones Sporting Complex in this case? Yeah. Um, it's certainly, that is not deemed to be proper. It's, um, um, it's regarded as self-dealing, you know what I mean? You, and it's not the most ideal way to do business at all, at all, especially when you're dealing with funds that is not your own. It's always better to have an arm's length transaction. If you are the minister, hire an independent company to get the work done. 